If you enjoyed the content of the video, kindly click the like button. Please don't forget to tell your friends. Please share on Telegram, WhatsApp and Facebook groups. In the comments box, please list any prayers you would like to ask for. Please subscribe and click the bell button if you are watching for the first time. By clicking the bell button and subscribing, kindly assist us in expanding our channel. Thank you. To Mother Mary's protection family, a very happy morning. I ask our beloved Jesus, Mama Mary and Saint Joseph to bless you all and keep you happy and healthy and bring you all joy today. Today's Catholic Mass readings and reflections, November 17, 2022. Thursday of the 33rd week in Ordinary Time. Memorial of Saint Elizabeth of Hungary, Religious. Prayer to Saint Elizabeth of Hungary Dear Saint Elizabeth, you were always poor in spirit, most generous toward the poor, faithful to your husband and fully consecrated to your divine bridegroom. Grant your help to widows and keep them faithful to their heavenly Lord. Teach them how to cope with their loss and to make use of their time in the service of God. Amen. Let us mention all our intentions over here. Saint Elizabeth of Hungary, pray for us. Personal Reflection Do I actively seek out and accept the opportunities that God presents to me each day? Am I listening carefully enough to hear God's knocking on my heart's door today? Do I recognize my siblings and sisters' struggles? First reading, a reading from the book of Revelation, chapter 5, verses 1 to 10. I, John, saw a scroll in the right hand of the one who sat on the throne. It had writing on both sides and was sealed with seven seals. Then I saw a mighty angel who proclaimed in a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals? But no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll and to examine it. I shed many tears because no one was found worthy to open the scroll or to examine it. One of the elders said to me, Do not weep. The lion of the tribe of Judah the root of David has triumphed, enabling him to open the scroll with his seven seals. Then I saw standing in the midst of the throne and the four living creatures and the elders a lamb that seemed to have been slain. He had seven horns and seven eyes. These are the seven spirits of God sent out into the whole world. He came and received the scroll from the right hand of the one who sat on the throne. When he took it, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb. Each of the elders held a harp and gold bowls filled with incense, which are the prayers of the Holy Ones. They sang a new hymn, Worthy are you to receive the scroll and break open its seals. For you were slain, and with your blood you purchased for God those from every tribe and tongue, people and nation. You made them a kingdom and priests for our God, and they will reign on earth. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response Real Psalm. Your response. The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. Sing to the Lord a new song or praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. Your response, the Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. Let them praise his name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to him with the timbrel and a harp. For the Lord loves his people and he adorns the lowly with victory. Your response, the Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. Your response, the Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. The acclamation, Alleluia, Alleluia. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Alleluia, Alleluia. Gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke chapter 19 verses 41 to 44. As Jesus drew near Jerusalem, he saw the city and wept over it, saying, If this day you only knew what makes for peace, but now it is hidden from your eyes. For the days are coming upon you when your enemies will raise a palisade against you. They will encircle you and hem you in on all sides. They will smash you to the ground and your children within you and they will not leave one stone upon another within you because you did not recognize the time of your visitation. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's reflection on the readings. Concerning Jesus' city, he sobs. Because of his unwavering love for people, he weeps. God foresees the impending catastrophe as he experiences intense sorrow over the reje rejection of his message. Two blessings that we seek in life are peace and contentment. We become very disturbed if they are missing. Jesus also laments the impending destruction of his dearly loved Jerusalem and its inhabitants while he is troubled and weeping. Jesus' tears, however, were unable to change their hearts. Jerusalem residents undoubtedly are not stirred. They remain steadfast and reinforced in their sinful ways, rather than making a change and repenting. Let us let go of our hard hearts and receive the tenderness of God's grace, which he extends to us every new day. Let Jesus' tears serve as a reminder of his genuine, unchanging love for us and its ability to make us into the sons and daughters of God's kingdom. So, my dear friends, as a result of the Lord's mercy, he extends to us time and grace to turn away from sin at this very moment. We risk missing out 
on grace and running out of time if we wait. Even for a brief moment. So let's move swiftly to repent of our sins and to follow God's path of righteousness, contentment and peace. Prayer Merciful Lord, you have come to and saved your people. I pray that we don't miss out on your visitation of grace today as you work to lead your people to a higher level of righteousness and holiness. Purify our hearts and minds so that we can better comprehend your ways and conform our life to your will. Lord, grant peace and healing to all who read or listen to your word through this channel. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, by clicking the bell button and subscribing, kindly assist us in expanding our channel. Until we meet again in the next video, may our gracious and loving God watch over you and keep you safe from all harm. Amen.